Hello my friends, welcome to the second video in your channel Cranes Technology. In this video we will explain how to establish a connection between a spreader with Epic controller and Kutsi software. This task is important for diagnosing spreader faults, download and upload functions. Hi, we are going to explain now how to communicate with the uh, uh, spreader using controller epic uh, uh, we are going to communicate the epic controller with the CAN bus and ethernet we use the CAN bus to uh, know the features of the CPU and then know the IP address. Then after that, we use this IP address to communicate a uh, laptop with the controller in order to use the code system program to make upload, download, or changing the program. So first of all, we are going to use the CAN communication using the key visa for example. There are different types of cables. We are going to use the key laser. To the laptop USB and then communicate. Insert the block for the key laser in the can bus in our spreader. And then after installation of the key laser uh, driver on the laptop, we use the software Cam Moon, the light version. After this, we use the board rate. The board read here to communicate with the Epic controller is 125 and we choose the type of cable from here, the laser, then press OK. After this we make scan nodes to know which nodes we have. Node 60 is the node of the CPU the epic cpu after this we go to tools configuration before this we have to choose the node which node we need to know the configuration tools configuration and then it opens the configuration of the cpu here are the IP address, here is the IP address then we use this IP address to adjust the LAN network Ethernet properties we change the IP address here but we have to change the last number for the node 60 it is 210 now we have to make it different so we use 211 after adjusting the IP address we go to the courses program open the courses file and then from online we go to communication parameters make new communication and then change the IP to the same IP of the CPU and the block size should be 1400 and number byte order is has to be yes okay then 
can go to online login. Okay. And then here you are online to the program. Thanks for watching. I hope this video is useful for you and please don't forget to subscribe and share the video.